Well, hi, everybody. Matt Kleskowski here. Happy holidays. And in the spirit of the holidays, uh, I have a tutorial here that's going to show you how to use some calendar templates um, inside of Lightroom to make a calendar. I guess there's really no way to really spice that one up, but I think it's pretty cool. Uh, and I'm also going to point you to uh, uh, my website where you can download some free calendar templates that uh, I have for you on there and you can follow along and you know, whether I'm going to give you a few different options in this one, a few different layout options, but you can create something like this that, you know, maybe you hang on the wall, maybe a stick on the fridge, whatever it happens to be. And uh, so let's go ahead and dive in here. So I'm going to open up Lightroom. The very first thing would be to go download the templates. I'm not going to go through too much of an installation process here. The, the templates are essentially calendars, all right? They're just calendar graphics. They're JPEG graphics that look similar to this, okay? So you're not there. You don't have to do anything special with them other than import them into Lightroom. You have to import them into Lightroom, get them into a folder here inside of Lightroom. You can put them on your computer wherever you want before you import them. I usually make myself a little Lightroom extras folder somewhere on my hard drive. So that I put little extra things like this inside of there, but they're JPEG files They're It's essentially a photo. So Lightroom doesn't care that it's not a good photo. It, it just knows that it's a JPEG. So you would go through your normal file, come down here to import. And, um, and then you just go in here and you go locate the place where those, those are. One of the things I did do was I created when I, when I had my calendar, when I went and navigated to where those templates were on my hard drive, I went and added click on add to collection. I created a collection called uh, 2020 calendars. And then that way, they're, they go into a collection, you know, you can very easily find them. In fact, you can see that collection right over here. If I go into grid view, you can see there's all my 2020 calendar uh, templates that I created. There's actually two different versions. I've only imported one in this example here. So the version I have has nice big numbers. Uh, the other version has a place with smaller numbers, but more room for you to write if you were the kind that likes to write on calendars and do that or otherwise maybe you want something with big numbers just so you can look up on the wall and get a feel for what day it is, okay? So once you get them into Lightroom, my, my first suggestion still sticks is put them into a collection and then put the photos that you want to use them with into a collection as well. It's gonna make things so much easier once you get over here into the print module because what's gonna happen is if they're not in the same collection, it becomes a pain in the butt to try to get a calendar on there and then you go, you have to go and switch collections or folders and then you gotta get a photo into there and all that stuff, it's just, it's a pain. So we're gonna take a look at a few different layout options here. The first thing you would do is go under page setup and under page setup, you've got to tell it what paper size you're formatting this for. So I'm going to format it for my Epson P800 printer because I'm going to print these out on my own. And then I'm going to choose a paper size that I'm going to print them out as. If you're not formatting them for a specific printer, you can just choose any printer or whatever and then choose a paper size. So what I would say is, is maybe you don't have a printer, but you can go online, um, you know, MPix, uh, Bay Photo, any Adorama Photo, any place, Costco. Any place that prints, you know, uh, 11 by 17, an 8 by 10, a 16 by 20, whatever size you want these to be, any place that can print online is fine. This is just for a template like you saw. If you were going to actually print a calendar, just go to any one of a hundred different websites that already have them cre pre created for you and you drop your photos. And it's not worth reinventing the wheel for that. This would only just be for that one page uh, calendar style that I showed you here if you wanted to make your own. Okay, so I'm gonna format this for a 17 by 22 Epson P800. There's, so that's my canvas. That's what I have to work with. What I would say from here, you're gonna come up here to layout style. You're also gonna make sure you have custom package selected. And that means we can create whatever we want under cells. I would hit clear layout so there's nothing going on yet. And then what you do is you simply drag one of the months. Let's start over here, January. Let's drag January onto the page. It's going to appear really small. In this example, I, I, I don't want the month to change aspect ratio because if it does, then I can start cutting things off like that. So I don't want the month to change the aspect ratio. The simple, easy way to make sure that that happens, number one, you can click the little checkbox there. I don't. I just hold down the shift key and I just drag. All right. 
I'm going to come down here. I'm going to position it into place. Now you can eyeball it. Another thing that can help you is if you come to the rulers, grid and guides section and turn on show guides, and then I'll always change this to grid snap and snap that to, uh, to cells. So now I can come in here and lay this out and get a general idea for it and position it the way that I want, like so, okay? From here, next thing we need to do is put a photo into it. So let's go in over here and we'll grab a photo. So we're just gonna drag and drop a photo on here. Now, here's the trick for a photo is that it's gonna have to fit where it fits, right? Because the calendar really took precedence in this example here. The calendar had to fit where it fits because of the aspect ratio of that graphic. So we really can't do much when it comes to the photo. So the photo, I wouldn't hold down the shift key. I would just drag until you get it to be where you want it to be. Okay. I think I have a bordered setup here. We can change this under your paper size. I can change this to um, not roll paper. There we go. Roll paper borderless. Click OK. And that should let me go with a full bleed on that one as well. Okay. So now we've got that going on. Um, a couple other little things, little settings that you have as you scroll throughout here, you can see your image settings. Um, it can choose, you can choose to put a border around a photo if you wanted to. I'm not going to choose any of that. You can rotate, etc. So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to, I'm going to stretch this and just see how it looks. It might look okay because there's a lot of white space in there and it actually does. All right. So I did stretch it to fit. You just got to be careful, you know, the, again, the cut, the, 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 the size of that, um, you need to constrain as much as you can because you don't want to start cutting off days or numbers or anything like that. If you don't have your photo position the way you want, meaning it's cropped oddly, you can hold down your command key on the Mac or control key on the PC and position your cursor over in that little cell there and you can just move it around. And now you can change what you're going to see. But again, it's it's going to have to be cropped the way it's cropped because this really takes precedence inside of this print here. All right. So that is one example. OK, and it's super easy to change if you wanted to. If you want to throw in a different month, then you just go down here, find the month you want and just drag and drop and it'll replace it. And then you can go down here and you can find the photo that you want and drag and drop and it'll automatically swap that out as well. Don't forget command or control and you can go in here and move that around as you need to. Another thing that'll help is if you go up here to the left hand side under template browser, click that little plus icon, make yourself a template. I call this one single month. I already made one, but I'll just do single month two. hit create. You'll see it shows up down here on the left hand side under user templates. So now what can happen is, is let's say I go and I'm doing something totally different. You know, um, I'm doing a whole different print and I click on a different print and I rearrange it however I want. When I come back to this, I can just click on single month. It's going to load up the framework for me. And now all I have to do is drag and drop new photos into there. Okay, so it's remembered the overall framework of it. I'm just going to drag and drop the month and the photo that I want into that one. Okay, so that is one example. Let's go into here to cells and clear layout. Another example that we can do, we'll follow this one. So we'll, we can use this one as a base. I'll go to single layout and I'll just drag a month into there. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to delete that cell at the top. And what I'll do is I'm going to, so let's think of this. I chose a 17 by 22 inch print. So you'd have to do a little math here to figure out you've got 17 inches across. You've got roughly, I don't know what it was, somewhere around, you know, eight to nine inches going down. You'd have to do a little bit of math here to figure this out. But once you figure out how the size that you want these months to be, so what I could do is, is make it even a little easier on yourself. So let's say I know 17 by 22. So let's say, let's make it 16, 16 divided by four is four. So I would know four by four. I can, and I went under here and I created under edit, and this is in the cells panel, under edit, I just created four by four inches. So now we've added a four by four onto here. So what I would do is now just drag and drop a photo into there. And then I can go over here and I can click and I can add another four by four. Notice how, because I have under rulers, grid and guides, grid snap cells, it's snapping to the cell. So it makes it really easy to lay out, 
It'll snap into place there, okay? So from there, I can just continue along and drag another photo. I can go back over here and add another four by four, drag another photo in there and position that one. And one more four by four, like so. And I can drag yet one more photo. We'll go with this one and drag that in there. Again, you'd have to do the math. You'd have to figure out what sizes you're gonna use. If I were gonna go this route, what I would do here is maybe squish this down a little bit, squish it down as much as I can, right? Maybe even change the size a bit. Squish that down. I don't need quite as much white space on the top and the bottom there. And then maybe that gives me a little bit more room to start to position and get a few more photos in there because uh, again, just depends how many photos you want into there. Now you could go the exact opposite with this too, all right? So what you could do is you could take calendars and drop them into these squares. Now the trick is, is four by four is not gonna work. So let's go ahead and let's clear this layout and let's drag a calendar onto the screen here. And I'll hold down the shift key, I'll make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna eyeball this again, I have 17 inches across, so I know if I make this roughly four inches wide or so, um, I'll get pretty darn close to having four of these going across, okay, with a little bit of space. So I can do that and then I can continue and I can add another one. Now, if if you did what I just did here, you dragged one on and you you just sized it, you don't necessarily know what size that is. It'll actually tell you right down here. You can see uh, 3.32 by 4.14. But one of the easy things to do is just hold down your option or alt key on here, click and drag and that'll duplicate it, All right? And then you can just drag another month into it. Option or Alt, click and drag, duplicate, drag another month in, Option or Alt. Again, I'm just haphazardly laying them out. Let's say we're gonna go with three across because I think four was gonna be pushing it a little bit. So let's say we're going with three across and again, and I'm just gonna, I'm not, I'm, and I'm not even gonna change the months in this because you get the idea, but I'm just laying that out so you can get an idea of how it's gonna look. Okay, and we're gonna pretend this year only has nine months because I really did not lay that out very well. And then we would go and we would drag a photo down here, like so, uh, command or control click inside of there to change the crop. It's got a little grid behind it, but of course you can go under your rulers and you can, you know, it's not gonna print. Um, it's just there for you to lay things out but you can go under your rules and, and turn that off so that you get an idea of what this is going to look like. So you could try to fit all 12 months in there, or maybe you're just gonna go and maybe just fit three months and make them a little bit bigger. Again, the, the sky is really the limit when it comes to this. There's no, there's no required layout options that you have for it. I'm just trying to give you a couple of different ideas to go with. All right, let's go under here under cells and we will clear that layout. The next thing I would do is go under page setup and we can flip this to a landscape orientation. And there's nothing saying that we can't do the same exact thing, right? Just in a different orientation. So I can go and maybe take this photo and I think this photo would look good tall. So I'll take good portion, maybe a third of the space that way. Now it's obviously flipped on its side. That's where we go over here to image settings, change rotate to fit so that it doesn't rotate it to fit in. And then you can command or control click inside of your cell. Come on, hold down your command or control key inside of that cell. Again, you'd have to find the right photo. You'd have to find more of a portrait orientation for a photo. And you can take up as much space as you want. Depends what's more important to you is, is the, the calendar more important to you? Drop another photo in. Or is the photo more important to you? Is the calendar just secondary as long as it's maybe it's closer to your desk, you don't have to squint to see it so you can make the months a little bit smaller and give a little bit more space for uh, the photo that's gonna be in there. But now that we've got a photo inside of here, what we would do is then go and grab one of your months and drag right onto the page here. So let's say I wanna go with three months. Let's say I'm gonna do, I'm gonna print one of these every quarter, okay? So I'd go and just uh, position the calendar where you want, hold down that shift key again, just to constrain the overall proportions. 
again, depending on the size you're going to go with, you might have to do some math to figure out what size you, you want to get these exactly to be. I know that they're a little bit tall and I know I have some white space to work with. So I'm going to let go of the shift key and just crunch that up a little bit. And so once I get one into place, like so, hold down that option or alt key and just drag it down. Again, don't forget as you move it around, it'll snap into place with the cell that's near it. So it'll snap into that cell again, option or alt. And then I can drag this one down here. I've got to move that one up just a hair. Okay. So now I've got my three months. They're all the same month, but what you would do then is just go and just swap, just drag it right over the cell and it'll replace it. I don't know where March is. That's June. It's alphabetical. So there's March. So there we go. So now we've got one for the entire quarter and then you could just print one out every quarter uh, if that's what you want to do as well. Don't forget, you can come up here to the top left corner and go to the temple, template browser or the temple browser and, uh, and just choose, I'll just make this one three months. Hit create. And then just like I did before, if I were to be doing something else with a different photo and a different layout altogether, I can come back here three months later click on that template, it's going to give me the overall framework, which from here, all I would do is just drag another photo right inside of it, hold down your command or control key, you can move it around if you need to. And then you would go through, I can actually tell I missed just a hair. There we go. And then you would go through and you would drag your other months into their locations as well. I'm sure those are the wrong months for this quarter. But it works for my demonstration. So you get the idea here. Uh, again, the, the sky is the limit. There really, there really is no rule to this. I'm just trying to give you a couple of different layout options and thoughts around it. So I do hope you, uh, I hope you enjoyed this, whether it's for yourself, you're going to put them on your wall or your refrigerator, or whether you're going to share your photography in a more useful way with uh, your friends and family. Uh, maybe this will spark some ideas for you. Once again, happy holidays. Make sure you swim by the website. You can download the calendar templates for free. It doesn't include a video, a basic video on how to use them, but you can take it a little bit further with what I've covered here.